Welcome to Haircuts everyone. Behind me we have a 2012 Dodge Ram 1500 SLT. We picked this truck up just as uh, our shop truck thing to drive around, pick up a few parts when we need. And with this, it has this problem that a lot of uh, Dodge Ram trucks have. And if you look down below, you'll see here is that e-brake. You see the e-brake cable is hanging down below. And on this truck, the e-brake light is on. So there's, there's a couple things that we looked at. And obviously you do the first thing, which is you come up and pull your release. And so we pull your release right here. And nothing is still there. And on this one, it was actually, it's part of the, there's a switch here. So we, you pull all the way up on, you actually your foot uh, lever here to engage the parking brake, the light goes away. So that solves that piece of it, but it doesn't solve the problem for why is that cable hanging down below? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you why it's doing that and how to fix it. All right, so we're gonna get in to the truck underneath on the driver's side. Okay, so. Here we have the cable. This is the e-brake cable. It's coming to the driver's side rear. And then it falls along the other side. And you may not be able to see it, but sort of right there. Do you see that spring where the light is coming from? That's where that's where it's on the other side. So what I'm referring to is right here. So it looks like it's where it's supposed to be. It's going to show you the slack in the cable again. So as we can see, the cable is dangling below, right? And it's going to go like this. You see that? Do you see how much further back the cable still had to go? So this this lever here is your parking. This is your is what engages the parking brake. So what had happened here? is that this spring wasn't strong enough to return this so I don't know if you need to be lubed or whatever but this is a common issue on on these trucks is that it's actually not the lever doesn't go all the way back it's just not hasn't gone all the way back then you have all that slack so when you look over here do you see that you see that the cable's already been tucked up just from that little bit and what we're going to do is we're going to just jump over to the other side and take a look Here that this one is actually fine this one's going back as far as it could and what I'll do is I'll get my trusty assistant to hit the e-brake okay and release all right so he's released it and you see that it's fallen all the way down again and what we see is it's because over there it hasn't returned back to its regular position. So what we're going to do is we're just going to loop that up so that that uh, that it does return to where it's supposed to. And then this cable will stop uh, dangling down. And then also it'll keep that uh, pass driver's side rear wheel parking brake from dragging. I'm sure by now it's probably that bit of it is already worn off. But uh, we'll need to fix that anyway. So... What we're gonna do is we're gonna pop over to the other side, we'll loop that up, and then we'll see if we can make this go away. I just wanna show you all again exactly what's happening. So right now, can you press the e-brake? Okay, so e-brake is pressed, can you release? Okay, release. press it again. Okay, and release. All right, so as you can see, all the tension is, it's just being, the cable is being tensioned, and then it's being untensioned, so it's being released. But that lever right there, that wasn't moving. So that's the part that we're lubing. So use your favorite lube that you want to use. I like to use baby oil uh, because it's from freshly squeezed babies and it's uh, nice and soft and it's all organic and natural. So that's what uh, that's what we're going to use here. So we just want to show you guys that it does work properly. We weren't making this up. So there's, you see the linkage. It's now released. Uh, so we go ahead and press the e-brake. You see that tightened up and release all the way back smooth as a baby's butt and that's why we use the baby oil all right and you may also be wondering what is this fancy tool that we have here this is actually a screwdriver that was made either by myself or my brother in grade 8 shop class 
this one doesn't look like it's very straight so I probably made this one but yeah it uh, comes in handy so thanks for tuning in